Okay, I decided I wanted to do something with this here, okay? And yep, I'm over on the PSYOP site, you know, the PSYOP website, okay? Where this person right here, um, you know, the voice for nonsense, the voice for BS, <laughs> Jason Boss, okay? It's actually pretty hilarious. Because if this guy ever really wanted anybody to believe, anything to do with the Scythorn and conspiracy granny BS that they pushed you know Robert Usury if you want us to believe people to believe this guy's in jail or in prison blah 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 and that he was fighting for people's rights well the only thing I can tell you is Jason's the reason that people don't believe him <laughs> That's right. Jason is actually the reason people don't believe him. You know, and then of course, conspiracy granny didn't help that along any neither, okay? But the reality is, you know, once when you was asking the public for character references, Jason, and I did a video and told you that you can't ask the public, people who don't even know this guy, that have never met this guy in their life, that's only watched videos of this guy to give character references to a court because they would be, they wouldn't accept them to begin with. When I told you this in a video that I made and told you the character references has to be from people that personally know Cy Thorn in real life who have met him and know his, know who he is, blah, blah, blah. This is where you really screwed up. This was one of the major turning points that showed that you, yourself, Jason Boss, was fraudulent. That you were lying. When your comeback was, well, you're not no attorney, you would know this. It does not take a rocket scientist to know that. It does not take some screwball attorney who went to law, went to law school to learn legalese to learn how to con the public and rip the public off and screw the public to know this. This is a common sense thing. But of course you don't possess any common sense, isn't that right Jason? Isn't that the real reason you attacked me for making that video? Would the real reason that you wanted people to give a public notary to go to a public notary and have it certified and have their home address and their state where they live and everything on this character reference wasn't because you was collecting that data. You wanted to collect that data on these people. Wouldn't that be the real reason that you got so upset because I was interfering with your scam because you're a known liar? Jason, you've been caught in so many lies one right after another you have been caught in so many lies while you fly and call yourself a truther okay well i'm sorry truthers don't get caught lie after lie after lie after lie and if this was a real case and really going on for real you would have understood that then of course there's always this jason you have to ask yourself a question Cy Thorns from Texas, right? Right. You was originally from, what was that, Oregon? Yep. And then you left the United States. You abandoned your country to go to a place that's known for CIA involvement and psyopses and criminal activity called Panama. Yeah. You know, a drug lord capital there, I mean, it's a spot where drugs are brought in and pushed into the United States and where the CIA is heavily involved in that. And your criminals from your government in the United States are heavily involved in that. And a place where drugs are really known. I mean, you went to one of the most criminal places a person could ever go and moved right next to an active volcano, which is pretty awesome, okay? But just the same... The point is this, you told on yourself, 
you didn't help Scythorn's case one little bit. And then he writes down here, he writes, our brother Robert is in, is in his darkest days right now. Solitary confinement. Now for months. Well, if he was really in prison, unless he's really a bad boy behind bars and he's breaking all the rules, he wouldn't be on solitary confinement. <laughs> uh, so see, you're getting dramatic and through your own stupidity, your own dumbness, and you being so dramatic, once again, you've told how fraudulent this is. But of course, I'm sure that's way above your IQ that you won't pick up on this, right, Jason? This is not going to be within your IQ, your eye grasp, or your brain capacity to understand what I'm saying here. But anybody with even a quarter of a brain, that's right, anybody out there with even a quarter of a brain would understand if he's really in prison, as you're claiming he is, for this. And there's so many other holes in this whole thing that I could come on here and talk for the next two hours and I'm not going to, okay? It's not worth it. There's so many holes and so many lies in this story that you're telling the public is pathetic. It really is, okay? It's absolutely pathetic. So what we have here is a situation where Jason Boss now comes up this many months later and wants to convince everybody that Cy Thorne's in his darkest moments. He's in solitary confinement. He's by himself, locked in a cell, like in the hole for months now. So unless I thought was going around breaking all the rules in prison, that's the only way he'd be locked down like that. So see, once again, that don't go hand in hand. Okay? You have been the biggest teller on Scythor to begin with yourself, Jason. You're the reason a lot of people saw through the bullshit story. Not that they eventually wouldn't have saw through it anyhow, because Granny, she managed to put her foot in there and help it along. But you know, I got a question for you, Jason. How is it that you would know Scythorn and Conspiracy Granny on such a personal level? A guy that was never in Texas that was in Oregon. A guy that went from Oregon to Panama. How would you know Scythorn and Scythorn's mom and that's right and conspiracy granny on such a personal level like you claim to know? The only thing I can think of is you've known him for years, huh? You've been talking on a phone with each other, right? You're working together on the psyops and been working together on the psyops. And the real reason why Cy Thorne was fighting for the public, he was speaking for the public. He sure was. He was going to help the public furtherly lose more rights and get locked down. He was going to help criminals be able to come after people who speak truth. Isn't that what this was really about? For selfishness, for greed, for the tool. He didn't have no morals or no care and didn't care about the public. What he cared about was the tool. Isn't that why you do what you do, Jason? For the tool? You know, money? That's the tool, by the way, Jason. I probably better let you know the tool equals money. Because that'll probably be above your IQ, too, to understand that. Wouldn't that be the real reason? The Scythorn and Conspiracy Granny did their bullshit and that you've done your bullshit. You know that so-called raid on Granny? You know that joke? That pretend raid that never took place? That you tried to convince the public that took place? It's like right now convincing the public he's still behind bars and he's in lockdown and solitary confinement for months. While he's in prison. 
Why don't you bring up some actual real proof of that, Jason? Oh, that would be hard for you to do, wouldn't it, Jason? You're so far phone calls? No. No, not at all. Anybody could have somebody know somebody's in jail and record them calling, that recording, and know what time it comes on and have a recorder and record that and take that audio. You could probably even get that audio online. Anybody can put together a fake phone call, Jason, and then put it up the way you done and claim that he's calling you from where you're saying he's calling you from and he's actually not. That's not hard to do at all, Jason. You've been caught in so many lies that what comes out your mouth is not believable. This is the reason you get mad because you, you're one of these people that think lying's perfectly normal. It's okay to lie, just don't lie to me. And then you get mad when people don't believe your lie, even when you're caught in lie after lie after lie. Why would anybody believe anything that comes out your mouth when you keep lying and keep getting caught lying? Because when you're lying, it means you're not telling truth. And when you keep getting caught not telling truth, how do you think you can be credible? I'm sorry, you screwed that yourself. You are the biggest reason that people caught on to Cy Thorne and Granny's PSYOP to begin with. If they, if they didn't have such a good friend like you sticking a knife in their back, they might have actually gotten further along with their PSYOP. But thanks to a great friend like you, you've managed to tell on them. Not help them, but tell on them. And when you want to say, I'm a troll, and people who are telling the real truth are trolls, that's because you can't stand the fact that you've been caught. You've been busted. That's really the reason you're saying that, right, Jason? So it's upside down on its head again. The people really telling the truth are being called trolls. And the people who are lying to you like Jason Boss are wanting to be recognized as your heroes. As the good guys. When in reality, in the real world, they're actually the bad guys. Jason Boss and Cy Thorne and Granny. They're actually the evil. Flipping the truth upside down on its head. That's the real truth. So the so-called people you're saying trolls and are attacking this poor guy that's in prison, you'd have to really put out some hard evidence to show he's in prison now. Because you're not believable. You're not credible, Jason. You can say all you want. You can show all this paperwork you want. We well, don't know that that's real. That could be as fraudulent as fraudulent after all. Todd Bennett is an attorney. So it wouldn't be hard for you to get this paperwork since Todd Bennett helped you set up this site. And your good friend over there from Military PsyOps, you know, who's been helping, you know, your other partner there, who's also military intelligence. So you got to figure between your nice friend who's military intelligent and Todd Bennett, who's an attorney, who's the real reason the name was the name of the site was given one five three, and then we have the front man, the patsy, the pawn called Jason Boss. Yeah. So it's not hard to bring up papers that look legit and do what you're doing here, Jason. Not at all. It doesn't make it credible. It doesn't make it truth. It doesn't make it believable. You've already been caught in too many lies. We already know that 153 has a guy named Jason or Todd Bennett behind it. We already know there's military involvement in 153. We sure do. We already know that this is a big PSYOP site. And you're the one that has to prove different, not us. You are, Jason. I was just curious how you're going to do that, Jason. How do you plan on proving this to be accurate, Jason? Could you come up and show us how you're going to prove this is accurate, Jason? Just curious. I'll bet you won't because you can't. Isn't that right? 
So you just keep going with the lie, right? That's right. You want people to believe the lie, right? Not real truth. Isn't that right, Jason? Just remember, when Sidehiller Thorn had friends like you, he sure didn't need enemies. Because you're the biggest reason people caught on to him as soon as they did to begin with. 